Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be having a special guest join us today, my grandfather. A little while back, I had my dad try to guess the names of different Wings of Fire characters with only a photo, and now my grandpa wants to join in on the fun. To challenge him, he wants to try and get more views than the videos with my dad had, so let's see which team you're on. Can you beat him in views and accuracy? We'll have to see. Before we begin, a huge shout out to my patrons. Chris Roblox Man, Dragon Lover 95, Springtail Productions, and Three Moons. Thank you all so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright everybody, here is my grandpa. Say hi. Hi everyone. I am Dog Lover's Dog, dog Jew. <laughs> Whatever. Just forgive me. I am who I am. <laughs> Okay, he's going to be guessing different Wings of Fire characters based on just the image shown. And I'll give you a little bit of information as to the gender and a little bit about the tribe that the dragon is, because there are several different tribes in the series. First one we have here is the protagonist of book one. This is a boy, and he's a mud dragon, so kind of more associated with kind of swamplands, things like that. Oh, wow, he looks like a Ragnar. A Ragnar? Okay, I yeah. like that name. Thank you. But kind he, of warrior-esque. Yeah, kind of roar. Yeah, exactly. But he looks really vicious, too. But maybe he's got a calm side to him. All right. His name is Clay. Is it? Mm-hmm. I like Clay, too. I do like Ragnar. That's a really good one. Two, we should use that. Oh, okay. Take notes, because that is a good one. All right, here's our next one. She is a girl and is a water dragon. Wow, she is beautiful. Such beautiful colors and, and articulation with everything. Just wonderful. What is, am I supposed to give her a name? Yeah, trying to figure out what name you think she is. I would say I would give her the name Love Door. Love Door? All right, we got Ragdoor and Love Door. The, her name is Tsunami, like an Su ocean tsunami. Wow, that, that makes sense. Because she's very fierce. Wow. See, and I kind of gave her too much uh, softness when she should have more fierceness with her. I do love that one. Okay, this is a girl. She's a rainforest dragon. Rainforest dragon. She looks more dragon. like the jungle, kind okay. of. Okay. Well, then we should give her a name, maybe Jungle Door. <laughs> you only know Jungle Door, Rag Door, Love Door. I love these. Well, but you know, I'm just kind of staying in one kind of category. And Jungle Door, since she is a jungle uh, dragon, really, I think, works for her. Love her colors, but the fear fierceness that's coming out of her is just unbelievable. Yeah. Her name is Glory. Glory. Okay. That could work. Although that doesn't seem like it's, it makes her seem soft, and she doesn't look like she'd want to be a soft dragon. Oh, yeah. She's very fierce and independent. Okay. She has a lot of sass to her as well. Okay, this next one is a boy. He's a night dragon, a dragon of the night. Lives on a volcano. Wow. Given the fact that he's a night dragon, I got to come up with something that really works good. And I would say bat door. Bat door? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can see that. There should be dragon of his tribe name, some kind of bat name. His name is Starflight. Whoa. That's a good name. Nightwings are typically named after something about them. You can see on the underside of his wings, there's different stars. Oh. And so that's oh. why you got the name Starflight. Okay, I see that now. Okay, this is a girl and she is a sand dragon. Wow, I would, uh, she is so beautiful. I And the coloration and everything, I would probably call her Gold Door. Gold Door, okay. That's actually not too far off in a sense. Her name is Sunny. Oh, Wow, she does look like the sun with, is with her, too. Um, but, you know, she also looks really fierce, too. This is another night dragon from the second arc, and this is a girl. Wow, um, I, I've got I've to give this one a, a, what I'll call a hippo door, because she kind of looks like a hippopotamus in a sort of way, and, but I just think that that would work for her. Uh-huh. All right, Hippodor. I never really thought that Moon looks like a hippopotamus. Her name is Moon Watcher, preferring the nickname Moon. Oh, okay. And quite frankly, in real world, um, hippopotamus are, are night animals, and they work with the moon. Oh. Okay, this is a boy. He's an ice dragon. Wow. And, and I've just got to tell you that, that I'm having some difficulty coming up with 
with a name for this fierce looking ice dragon. But I, I just got to say, maybe Glacier Door. Glacier Door. Well, actually, there is an ice wing named Glacier. So oh. that was a good guess. Oh. His name is Winter. Oh, that makes sense. He looks cold. <laughs> okay, this is a girl sky dragon. Wow, a sky dragon. And I need to come up with a name for this sky dragon. Um, I will say I've got to come up with something really good. Uh, I'll say um, Storm Door. Storm Door. Okay. I could totally see a skyling named Storm. Her name is Peril. Her scales can emit kind of like a really, they're really hot and they can burn anything they touch. So that's why she got the name Peril because well, she's very dangerous. And I can see then that Storm could work with that because. Definitely could. Yeah. I can totally see that. This is another water dragon. He's a boy. Well, okay. I've just got to, I, I got to pick something that really seems to work for me on this whole thing. And, and I got to say that I would call him Cedor. Cedor? Okay. He is a sea wing after all. His name is Turtle because he's quite a slow slim, swimmer. Wow. But he looks very aggressive too. And in, in sea turtles, they travel so far, so they have to conserve their energy. Mm-hmm. I guess you could look at it that way. The last of the are two dragons. We have another sand dragon, and he is a boy. Wow. Well, this one's an easy one, to, I think, for me to, to give a name to, because I would call him Dune Door to go after the sand dunes. Ooh, there is actually a sand wing named Dune. His name is Keebly, which is like a desert wind, a warm desert wind. Wow. Okay. There's a, uh, there's another name out there that could probably um, go with uh, with him. Uh, because in, in Arizona, they have what they call haboobs, which are sandstorms. <laughs> you name him Haboob? Haboob door. <laughs> haboob door. Okay. I like that one. Dune door and haboob door. Now we need these to be canon. Starting off the arc three dragons, we have a silk dragon. Wow. This this is an amazing... Oh, this is a boy as well. This is an amazing dragon, and, and he just... Seeing the background and everything... I would say that this is probably what I'll call a Vulcan door. Ooh, Vulcan door. That's cool. That'd be a cool name for dragon species, even. His name is Blue. Oh, wow. Blue, and that does go with all of his colorations and everything. Is he a calm one, or is he, is he still yeah, aggressive? Yeah, he's very calm. He's very sweet, too. He always sees the best in other dragons. All right, now this is a hive dragon, and this is a girl. She lives in different hives. Now, what's her character like? Is she another... Um, studious type. Uh, oh, yeah. She's very studious. She, she loves asking questions, very inquisitive. Okay. Well, n given that, I I've got to say Dr. Door. Dr. Door. Okay. I can see that. Her yeah. name is Cricket. Cricket. The reason I said Dr. Door, because I would say that she has a PhD in Dragon Theology. Okay. I can, you know, I can see that. Her character was originally going to be a journalist. But she ended up just becoming a regular student. And she dates the character that we just saw. Oh, wow. Terrific. Okay, this is a leaf dragon, and she's a girl. And, and again, what kind of character does she have? Man? She's very fierce. She's a leader. She's independent. She's very strong, confident. Oh, wow. Then given that character, I've got to, I've got to just say maybe... Um, well, this is difficult because I want to be accurate on how I would name her. Um, I, I would say Queen Door. Queen Door. Okay. She's not a queen, but I do really love that. Her name is Sundu. Oh, Sundu. Okay. Wow. I should have. Okay. Thank you very much. This is another ice dragon, and she's a girl. And for context, she's the queen of her tribe. Wow. Then I, I've already used that other one up, but uh, what I will do is I will say that I would call her um, Freeze Dew. Mm, okay, Freeze would be a good name for an ice wing. Her name is actually Snowfall. Oh, okay. But that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. It is a very nice name. This is another Silk Dragon. She's a girl, and she is Blue's sister. She looks like she's got some magic to her, so I would probably call her Magi Dew. Mm, Magi Dew. That's a really neat one. Her name is Luna, like a Luna moth. Okay. She does look, though, that she's got a lot of a lot of special forces that go for her. 
She's called a flame silk. She can emit different fiery flames from her wrists. Oh, okay. And lastly, to end off the heroes, we have another silk dragon, and this is a boy. Well, this 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 boy looks really fierce, and so I'm going to have to call him a mogul. A mogul? A mogul. I love that. That's perfect. His name is Swordtail. Oh, that sounds really good, and I think it goes together. And lastly, to end off the video, we do have a couple villains from the series. This is a sky dragon, and she's a girl. Yeah, but she looks like a doom dealer, so that's what I'd have to call her, a doom dealer. Doom dealer, I love that so much. I'm going to use that for something in the future, for kind of fantasy project. Her name is Queen Scarlet. Oh, but she, <laughs> Queen Scarlet is a doom dealer for sure. <laughs> Definitely a doom dealer. This is a sea dragon, and he's a boy. Wow, he's, he's, he's a villain, huh? Then, I, I, then I've got to say that he's got to be the serpent one. I'll call him Ser Serpent Dew. Ooh, Serpent Dew. Serpent would be a perfect name for him. His name is actually Whirlpool. Oh, that that kind of that's interesting. That's a wonderful name that he has, and I don't know if I could improve it with a serpent name. Honestly, Serpent One sounds really nice. Okay, thanks. This is a Night Dragon, and she was the queen of her tribe. Yeah, but she looks like she's just coming out of a whole bunch of volcano lava. So I've just got to say that she, this one's got to be the Lava Queen. Ooh, Lava Queen. Her name is Battle Winner. Although the one battle we see her in, she lost. So oh, not well. very accurate name. <laughs> but boy, I can see where she could just become very hot and take over and, and destroy so many other dragons who weren't paying attention to her. Oh yeah, she's definitely a conqueror. This is a night dragon. He's a boy and one of the most iconic villains of the series. Beloved yeah. by many. Yeah, you know, and he looks so sly. Like he's planning something really vicious and mean. Oh, yeah. So I've got to say Sly King or Sly Prince. Ooh, Sly King, Sly Prince. That's really accurate to him, actually, because he does want to become king. His name is Darkstalker. Ooh, that makes sense. Yeah. Truly makes sense, the way he looks. He stalks the heroes from the darkness. Okay, and to end the video off, we have another hive dragon. And she was the queen of her tribe as well. Well, I've got to, I've got to tell you that this has got to be what I'll call the drone of death. Drone of death. I love that. Her name is Queen Wasp. Oh, that's even better. But I like drone of death and Queen Wasp. Those are two great names for this one. Those are amazing. And we're the trip of this video. Which name was your favorite? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!